Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you the best way to make a classic Italian dish. Homemade gnocchi with tomato sauce. Made of potatoes and flour, these plump and rich gnocchi are wonderfully combined with a hearty tomato sauce for the perfect meal. Heaven in a bite! I'm so excited today because I will show you how you can make homemade gnocchi. This lovely pasta made from potatoes are one of my favorite because it's easy to make and very, very tasty. I think potato gnocchi are the most tasty pasta you can have at home. So the recipe is very easy. You can bake the potatoes or you can boil them, whatever you want. But the most important part of the recipe is to take off the excess moisture of the potatoes. So, if you bake them, the recipe is more easy because actually we will bake them on top of salt, so the salt will take all the moisture from the potatoes. But if we boil them, we have to make sure that we give attention to the potatoes. So, I will take my potatoes, I will cut them into big pieces, like this. If you want, you can chop them into small pieces, big pieces. This affect only the boiling time. If you leave them like it is, maybe you will need 20 to 30 minutes to boil them. But if you chop them, you will need 15 to 20 minutes. So this size needs 15 minutes into the water. And the only hard part of the recipe is actually the waiting time because we have to wait the potatoes to boil, then we have to drain them, and we have to wait again until they will become cold and the excess moisture gone. Now, a little bit of salt, and now we have to be a little bit patient for about 15 to 20 minutes until the potatoes are completely tender, sexy, and then we will wait five to 10 minutes until they are cold. My potatoes are ready and this is the most important part of the recipe, I told you that before. So you have to remember, from the moment you take off the heat, you have to drain them immediately and let them cool down on the colander, right? You are okay with that? So, I will take my colander to the sink and straight away drain them. And at this point, my potatoes are like coil. They are hot and steaming. As you can see, the potato by itself will take off all the moisture of the potato if you let them drain like it is, like this. So, again, we have to wait five to 10 minutes until they are cold, no steam coming off the potatoes, and then we will carry on the recipe. And my potatoes are ready. They are still hot because it's very important not to be very hot, to be at room temperature, not cold at least. So my potatoes are ready, nice, without water. This is exactly what we want. Then I will smash them a little bit. And when the potatoes are ready, got this, a proper potato mass. I will add two egg yolks. We want only the yolk. And I will keep the egg white to make a nice omelette for me. Yeah, after. The parmesan. Some salt. If you want, you can add some pepper or some herbs, but you will change the nice color and texture of gnocchi. I don't care, I will add some pepper because I love pepper inside the gnocchi. The potato and the pepper are the best friends. If you don't add pepper to a mashed potato, the mashed potato is not tasty. So, now mix everything together. First, the egg yolks, parmesan, salt and pepper. And actually at this point you have a potato glaze to cover a nice fish pie or whatever you want. And now it's time for 
Mr. Flour, the last ingredient of the recipe. If you make the whole procedure right and the potatoes are right, then you will need 150 grams of flour. But if you have more moisture inside the mixer, then you have to add a little bit more flour. And this is something we don't want. For this recipe, the perfect amount of flour is 150 grams of flour. You got it? We can add some more if the mixture is quite gluey, but uh, uh, the gnocchi will not be so tasty. So 150 grams of flour, this is the perfect amount, but if the mixer needs a little bit more flour, then we have to add a little bit more flour. So mix everything together until everything is combined in perfection. Knead the dough a little bit. It will be quite gluey on hand, but this is something we want. Don't add more flour, because if we add more flour, then we will miss the flavor of the potato. We'll only understand the flavor of the flour. And look at this. Look at this. It's quite gluey, but it's okay. It's manageable. And I will leave the dough here. I will wash my hands. And it's time to prepare the gnocchi. I have a piping bag here. You can even make them without piping bag. You have to roll them. But piping bag is easier. So I will take the dough inside the piping bag. Easy. I will cut here. I think this is okay. Now it's time for flour. And the flour will help you to shape and actually make nice gnocchi. So take your piping bag and spread the strip this way. Cover with a little bit of flour. Take your knife and simply cut pieces of gnocchi. Easy. Huh? Extremely easy, everybody can do gnocchi. And we will carry on. One more. And again, just a little bit of flour. Take your knife and cut into nice pieces. This is it. You need flour because if you don't use flour, then the dough will stick on the board. And this is something we don't want. So be careful, use some flour, and again, make sure that there is flour on the surface. Because this way you will avoid the gnocchi to stick each other. Perfect. And now, it's time to boil them. Here I have boiling water. I will add a little bit of salt. And to boil the gnocchi is the easiest thing ever because you don't have to be expert. When the gnocchi are ready, they will come up on the surface. When they are not ready, they will sink inside the pot. So take your gnocchi, put them in. And I love when the gnocchi look homemade because you know that the gnocchi are more tasty, more sexy. Always when you have this homemade look, make the food more, more tasty. Now, we have to wait two to three minutes until the gnocchi are ready, and then we will carry on with the tomato sauce and assemble this lovely dish. As you can see, some gnocchi start to appearing to the surface. This is exactly what we want. I will take some olive oil, put on a pan, and this way, they will not stick together. Look at this, easy cuts. It's like you are going for fishing. And this is how we are making gnocchi. Easy, right? Huh? And the gnocchis are ready. If you don't want to use them straight away, you have to cool them down uh, into a nice bath. Water with ice and then put them into the refrigerator and use them anytime you want. But right now I will use them because I will make a tomato sauce, so I will leave them on the side 
and I will take off this and I will carry on with my tomato sauce. Perfect. Now, I need a pan and the recipe is so easy. I love to make in tomato sauce because it's the most Mediterranean, I think, sauce you can have. Now, I need an onion and the secret to make a nice tomato sauce is always to grate nice, ripe Greek tomatoes on season. So I have these lovely tomatoes, the Greek tomatoes, that bursting with flavor, with aromas. Already grated, and now it's time to start my tomato sauce. A little bit of olive oil into the pan. The onion goes in. And this aroma of onion, olive oil, and of course garlic, it's something that I love. And the garlic goes in. And now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. We need some time, a little bit of time. The time goes in. And we have to make sure at this point that we will caramelize the onions to take all this natural sugar of the onions. If you make the procedure right, you don't have to add any sugar because the sugar is in the onions. But if you don't make right the procedure, then you always have to add more sugar to your food. Make sure that you're taking naturally the sugar from all the veggies you're using at your recipes. So to take all this natural sugar, you have to caramelize all the veggies. Now, I have to wait one to two minutes. I will add the tomato paste. We add tomato paste because to make the sauce thicker. And of course, the freshly grated tomato. And of course, I have oil on my shirt. I, I have to remember always to wear black when I'm cooking because if you don't wear black, this is what you get, right? <laughs> I love this. Now, it's very easy to make a nice tomato sauce and if the tomatoes are ripe and nice, freshly grated, then you don't have to add many ingredients inside your recipe. I will add a little bit of oregano because we love oregano in Greece. Some water. And it's time to add our gnocchi. Oh my God. Lovely. Look at this. Some salt. Pepper. And let them simmer for one to two minutes and the gnocchi will absorb all this lovely tomato sauce and become more sexy and more tasty. And during this time, I will chop chop my main hair, which is basil, of course basil. If you make tomato sauce, you have to use basil. Oh my God, it smells so nice. And you always have to remember that you add the basil, the fresh basil, when? To the very end. If I add the basil now, all the taste will gone. So I have to add it to the very end. Chop, chop. And my gnocchi are ready. Look at this. Sexy, nice, Mediterranean gnocchi. I need the basil at the end. Oh my God, look at this. This is beauty. This is amazing. And I need to serve. It's very hot. And always you have to remember when you're making and you're serving this dish, you need some sauce. Don't make them dry. Make them saucy, nice, sexy. Oh my God, look at this. Some Parmesan on top. And if you are a grease lover, you have to add a little bit of feta also. Freshly ground pepper. Some extra virgin Greek olive oil. At this point, I transformed this lovely recipe into a Greek gnocchi. It's Italian, okay? Gnocchi are Italian. But with feta cheese, they become uh, Greek. Some basil. I need a nice basil top here. And look at this. 
lovely, comfort, amazing, easy, sexy, Mediterranean, full of flavor, gnocchi. And if you try them, you will love them too. Easy to make, look at this, cute. It's so, so aromatic. You can feel all the Mediterranean flavors with basil, tomato, and the cheese. The potato gnocchi are so fluffy and so, so tender. And you actually eating potatoes, you feel no flour in them. So, this recipe is a masterpiece and you have to try it. Hot, hot. Mm. See you next time. Subscribe and share this lovely recipe with your friends. I will carry on with my gnocchi. I have a whole pan here. So I think this will be my lunch, my dinner, and probably my breakfast tomorrow. See you.